it, too many people have lost sight of their main goal and they were more interested in rising through the ranks at the restaurant than they were at getting a situation that set them up to free up their schedule to have to do the work they needed to do as actors. If you got something, let it rip. I'm never gonna do this again. Everybody grapples with this idea that you're really a fraud. Like I'm alive. And that's when it clicked with me. And I thought these are not superheroes. These are just men that can do super things. Welcome back to Monday Morsels, the mini version of 10,000 No's. I'm Matthew Del Negro, and the following clip is raw and unscripted. It's a real world, problem solving conversation with one of the members of our 10,000 No's Insiders community. Regardless of whether you're an actor, or filmmaker, whatever, it's like, what's the overall big picture goal? You know, if you start with that and then reverse engineer it, uh, that can help give you the answers to your own particular dilemma. Um, for for me, for example, I could just start with that. And th this, I guess, ties into my journey, my own personal one, was I kind of came to acting what I thought was late, but in retrospect, maybe it was kind of early because I know a lot of people who didn't figure out what they wanted to do till far beyond where I was. I was 20 years old. I got hit with it and this is what I was going to do and that's what I've done. But for me, I always felt like eventually I would be in LA because eventually I saw a film and TV. So that was like, you know, very broad strokes before I even really knew what I was talking about. Um, that was something somewhere in my mind, I thought film and TV and somebody must have told me or I just picked it up. LA was the place to be. I didn't start there though. I landed on New York combo of theater. Not that that was my end goal, but I felt like there was going to be better training, more solid training there. And also for me personally, I grew up an hour outside of the city. So I figured, okay, I've got ties there. I've got, that's a place to start. And those things weigh into it. It's, it's all, depends on your particular circumstances and then start breaking it down from there. So the, the overall thing, and, it, and I don't think this just pertains to where you're living, it's with any of these things, what's the big picture? What's, you know, what's the overall goal? And then chopping it down. For me, that was, I'll go get training in New York. I'll get stage experience in New York. I'll learn the craft. Uh, I, at the time when I made that decision, my brother did not own a bar, but shortly thereafter he owned a bar. So I bartended there, which was perfect. I had a, you know, a job where I was making decent money and working my butt off, but like I had a good situation. And then I also got other jobs there, but that all helped. I lived in a terrible apartment, not terrible, but you know, not nice, but it was rent stabilized that, and I got, I built a wall and got a roommate. If you read the book, you, you heard about all that stuff. That stuff, they don't talk about an acting class, but that stuff makes a huge difference because all of those decisions, just like every decision we make, will determine how long you can stay in the game in a very lean, lean field. And that the person who gives themselves six years versus six months is going to have a better shot in my opinion so i think those decisions are really important it, same thing goes for who you're going to study with the importance of finding the right teacher finding the right you know community of people i can't emphasize it enough because that's going to bleed into your your whole vibe for better and for worse you know, if you're around people that are constantly complaining, you're going to start complaining and get cynical and it's just going to just going to dry up all those creative juices. Vice versa is what Ayla's experiencing right now. I feel like she's in like a little renaissance period from what I've seen. Like she, you know, she's you could just see it and it's actually bleeding over into the work that she does for me with the podcast and with this group. Like it's just it's just something that's coming through. It started working for me. 
that led to other opportunities doing similar kind of behind the scenes, helping different people um, with their online businesses to the point where she was really good at it. So a lot of people came to her to the point where she said, I've got to like scale it back. So she drew a, sign, a line in the sand and was like, I need, I'm an actor first. So that's really important. Again, that comes back to like, what's the big why? If you lose sight of that, you could be doing great things, but you're going in a completely wrong direction. She saw that, caught it, brought it back. She, she, you know, created boundaries and now she's still doing all that work, but I think that work is benefiting her acting and her acting is benefiting that work. But there was a story when I first started um, in the city, I was working at Virgil's barbecue and it was this great place. It was, they own this other restaurant, Carmine's. They were like booming places in the city in, in the nineties. I don't know how they are now. It was like a great gig to get. And I remember being 22 and looking at the 32 year olds and being like, oh, when I'm 32, like I'll be, you know, like I thought I'd be Brad Pitt when I was 32. Now I'm like, I'm looking at 32 year olds, like they're very, very young to me. But at the time I thought it was, you know, 32 was ancient. And I remember thinking these guys have it. Too many people have lost sight of their main goal and they were more interested in rising through the ranks at the restaurant than they were at getting a situation that set them up to free up their schedule to have to do the work they needed to do as actors. All right, that is it. Now, obviously, you can just take what was said and apply it to your own life. But if you like what you heard so much that you want to find out how you can become a part of this community, just click the link for 10,000 Knows Insiders in the show notes or visit 10,000knows.com and check out more details there. If you feel like this helped you, please consider helping us by rating, reviewing, and subscribing to the podcast. Or if you're watching on YouTube, by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and dropping a comment below. We appreciate it and have a great week.